Hello guys. So uh, it's been one week since we started our three bins here with our European night crawlers. This is the kitchen waste. This is the worm chow and that's the leaves. And uh, I have the food here ready. That doesn't mean necessarily I'm going to feed them. It just means it's ready in case they did eat the food that was given to them the first week. Uh, there are only 25 worms in each bin, so I'm feeding them very little. And if they don't finish the majority of the food, obviously I'm not going to overfeed. So let's take a look, see. I have been coming here to check on the moisture of the bedding and the moisture is good. Okay, so I can tell you already that they look plumper and livelier than when they went in here a week ago. I have a feeling that it may have been the fact that they were in a lot of castings and very little bedding. I mean, if you wanna go and look at the uh, video of, of me just starting these three bins a week ago and look at the worms when I was putting them in here, I think you'll be able to see the difference right away because I'm like shocked. This is obviously too short of a time for, uh, for them to have gained weight just from the food. Look, I mean, look at this. This is the kitchen scraps, by the way. Lively and much chunkier than when they went in here. So this is where we put the food. Oh yeah, they're definitely, hmm. I'm thinking maybe having such a humongous bin and getting all those castings and not enough bedding was not the best thing for them, at least not for their, for their growth they did definitely finish the food. Okay, so we're going to feed and um, move on to the next bin. But I'm like, I'm kind of happy that they are, they're looking better. Those are some rotten, Rotten berries, I think they'll enjoy that. I'm not adding, uh, right now, not adding any eggshell because when we started the bin, I added a bunch of uh, eggshell throughout the bedding. So we'll start adding it with our next feedings, depending on how well they do. But so far, the kitchen scraps is looking good. Okay, let's close that up and let's go to our worm chow. Now this is a new medium for me. I never fed a worm chow and I don't know how they, they will eat it but I have been checking on this and I'm not really concerned because I do know they also have a lot of bedding and I did include alfalfa meal in the bedding. So they have plenty of, of uh, bacteria here between the nitrogen and the carbon material. Now, okay, here is one. Okay, mm, here 
there's another one. And I'm seeing the same thing here. They are plumper, they're livelier, they were a bit lethargic. So I'm thinking that it was definitely the fact that I just had way too many castings. Too lazy about putting them in with new bedding because they have improved a lot here. I mean, just look at that. In one week, that's really great. Okay, so we're going to give them a bit of uh, this worm chow. And this I come and check every other day because although I know that when you have like a thousand worms, they may eat it up quickly and you need to replenish it every day, I only have 25. So, and now the leaves, the leaves can go in here several times a week, doesn't matter, because leaves are both bedding and food source, as far as I'm concerned. And um, they have moved into the leaves. Yeah, and same thing here. Look at that, in one week. I think it's really worth it to um, go back and replay the original, original video, because I mean, it's like night and day here. They are so, so much livelier and chunkier. And I'm just, I'm so relieved. I'm really, really happy about that. So, yeah, see here. Oops. Yeah, really super, super active. Look at these guys. Okay, and by the way, they happen to be throughout the bin too. I mean, they like bedding, they spread out. Hope they don't spread out too much. They need to, uh, to find a mate. And since they happen to be blind, <laughs> they need uh, to kind of congregate together. But anyway, so I think this is uh, one of the bins that I check regularly to make sure it doesn't dry out since I'm giving them leaves. But these leaves are, like I said, are sitting in my garage with water, building mold. So they are definitely not dry leaves. And uh, I think they like them because they were in, in the leaves within 48 hours. And it took, took them a little longer to get into the food and and uh, and the worm chow. So, okay, well, this is uh, encouraging. I'm um, I'm actually happy to see that they all pumped up. They're all looking better, and uh, I may then increase the bedding into this particular bin, which is where the rest of my uh, European night crawlers are, because I emptied, I emptied the 45 gallon. I took out all the castings. The castings are in here. The worms are in there. And then I'm probably gonna sift in here and try to get some cocoons out so I can start a cocoon only European night crawler bin to see uh, why my African night crawlers are lagging in, uh, in the hatching department. But anyway, so this is our weekly, uh, weekly update for the three bins, and uh, we shall see you next week. Thanks for joining me.